Just under two months ago, a 21-year-old woman was gunned down in front of her grandmother's home in Springfield. Officers are still working to find answers as to why this happened. News 13's Kayla Tucker spoke with police and the victim's grandmother, telling us why answers are hard to come by, but why they're so important. The hopes were we're going to get this solved pretty quick. On January 10th, Tania Baker was shot and killed outside her grandmother's home on Bob Little Road. We have no actual eyewitnesses that actually saw someone shoot. We know that there were shots fired, obviously, and people aren't really coming forward. Someone that heard everything unfold is Tania's grandmother, Carol. My granddaughter was leaving to go back to Atlanta. She had came down to pick up her baby. And she said, well, Granny, I see you in two weeks. I said, okay, baby. She hugged and kissed me. She picked the baby up and they love out. Something that was so familiar soon became extremely tragic. And it wasn't that long. I heard three bangs like there was firecrackers and something just said, Carol, the main firecrackers, get up. Tania had been shot multiple times as her 10 month old son Gabriel sat inside her truck parked in the driveway. Now Baker says they just want to know who did this. So when her great grandson grows up, they have an answer to his questions. You might have to live the rest of your life in jail or spend the next 30 years in jail. But God still got your back. God loves you and so do I. And I will forgive you. Just let me know why you hurt my granddaughter. In Springfield, Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.